All right, let's talk um, clarification. You'll see things on my site that are entitled the name of the piece, then the size, and then you'll see how it's done. Stretched, unstretched, a canvas print, or a poster. What are the differences? You know the differences. You may not just know that you know. You've seen them when you go to the art stores or you're out at somebody's house. It just may not make sense to you. So when you order something from me, I want you to have the expectation set that you're thinking you're getting one thing, but then you get the other and, and you feel like, oh my gosh, what did Sonny do to me? Well, I'm, I'm trying to help set your expectation. All right, let's start with the first one, stretched. A stretch canvas, this piece is 30 by 40, 30 by 40, and it comes 30 by 40, and that's it. There's no, there's no in this case, there's not even a need to uh, put a frame around it because it is back stapled, and the thickness of this piece is an inch and a half. In the moder modern art world, that's kind of a, you don't have to. Um, even when they come three quarters of an inch in thickness, don't have to, but those typically do get some kind of frame around it, a thin one, a thick one, wood, uh, black, metal, whatever. However you feel like it, it makes the uh, piece fit in your space. But in this case, back, spa uh, back stapled, you don't see any on the side, and when I painted it, I painted it to where it wrapped around and you're continuing the piece. Okay? That's stretched. Um, <clears throat> unstretched. In this case, in all my Star Wars pieces, I, uh, I took a massive roll of canvas and I put some lines down and then started sketching out my, uh, my, my objects, my people, Mandalorian in this case, or uh, Grogu or Darth Vader or whatever, and then I paint it on top. But this is how, whenever I cut it out, this is how it comes. And um, when I say on the unstretched pieces, when I say that it could be 30, if I were to, was to say 30 by 40, like I'm saying on that one, if you were to stretch it, like on this one, stretch it to go around, well, no, the only way to get that around there is to take it in. So a 30 by 40 in that case would end up being however many inches you want to go around. If you wanted an inch and a half with a little bit of space to back staple, take two inches off each end. So in that case, it ends up being 36 by uh, 26 by 36. I was getting ready to make the numbers backwards. My bad. But in this case, what I tell people, when I give you a number, in this case it was 19 by 24, when I give you that number, I'm saying to you, in a max sense, you could trim out all the edges and then take that and attach it to something, a quarter inch plywood, something lighter, and you could get the max amount of space around it and that's the number that I give you. And in that case, you would cut it, trim around it, attach it to that, uh, pulling a little bit. It's, it's technically stretching it, but you're flattening it out so that it's not flimsy like this. And then you would take a frame and wrap around it that way. And you don't even have to do that. It depends on what look you're going for. But if I wanted this to be on an inch and a half fr uh, frame, that's the box that it sits around. I'm taking this and I'm rolling it around so that it goes around that inch and a half and then staples on the back. And then you have a canvas that gets, it looks smaller. So you say, no, Sonny, you said it was 19 by 24. But by the time I took it to the frame shop and they stretched it and then framed it, the, the painting itself was smaller, and it ends up cutting off some at the bottom. I'm telling you, that's exactly what will happen if you choose to have it framed, stretched, and or framed that way. I'm doing it in such a way that when the moment hits, I'm just painting. I'm not even worried about size. That's why sometimes the sizes are a little odd, 
because I'm painting and then I just sort of stop whenever I kind of feel like it needs to. Um, so that's why some of the numbers are a little odd and seem off uh, and it's how you have it stretched and or framed even if, if you want to do that at all. I actually hang up them in my house and with with clips because I change them out all the time, obviously, because um, I like to keep it fresh. But uh, it depends on how loosey-goosey. But in most cases, you are wanting to stretch and you're wanting it to fit in the decor and have a nice, clean look. It looks good like that. It'll look great like that. Just know that you're cutting into the size. And if you're thinking, well, Sonny, why didn't you do it knowing that it would be that size. Well, I could have left the edge like this all the way around, and that would have helped in the stretching, but you would still lose, no matter what, you would still lose that amount that's wrapping around. So regardless, if, if I was to have some of the actual canvas extra, you still have to trim it. So for me, in my mind, Letting the creativity flow was more important than trying to figure out the exact size. That's something that, that you can do later because it may fit you in a different way. Some of these pieces will be way long and really thin, but for me, that's how it felt when I did it. And some of your spaces, you'll be like, that's exactly what I needed. I needed something that was six feet long and only about you know, two feet wide. And so you're going, that's exactly it. Obviously, it's not for everybody. It probably won't be for a lot of people, but that's okay. Um, when you get a uh, uh, unstretched canvas roll, this is what it'll look like in a tube. You get it, you pull it out, take it to wherever it is you're going to get your, uh, get your canvas framed uh, and or stretched, and uh, they will you will go from there or do it yourself because I'm pretty sure there's some creative people out there that uh, end up in the what I call the art group. So what are the other two? A canvas print is when I take the piece and digitize it. I pull it into Photoshop and then that way I can print it out to a printer where it gets back to this size or whatever the size was and except when you print, uh, even on canvas, when you print to a canvas, it's now going to be flat. With me, as you can see, so much of my stuff has this incredible texture, and that's a part of who I am. I want you to feel the piece when you're looking at it, but I also want you to feel the piece. You can tell people to get their hands off of it. That's fine. But for me... I'm looking at it going, I want to feel it in every way possible. And just so you know, I do have this nice and clean and put a protective clear coat around it before I, uh, before I send it out. So uh, don't be afraid of that. So I've got the, the piece now, the original painting now printed onto a canvas and I go back and take and put some strike the the thickness of the paint in a few spots it won't be everywhere obviously because uh, that's like painting it again um, and if I do that then you know why sell a print so I'll go back uh, I know you've seen it like that where you're seeing a, a, a print it's on a canvas and you go why well, is this a print because I can feel the paint that's what happens I, I go back use the same brush or the same object and, and hit it with the paint and it, it raises the, the thickness again. And then after that, I'll take and put a clear coat on it and there you have a canvas print. Uh, stretched and everything. Canvas print will be stretched, not, not unstretched. So the last one is the poster, which pretty sure you're going to have that one figured out. Um, it's on a nice thick paper that uh, I will put what type of paper it is, glossy, matte, or whatever, 
in the description of that uh, item and you go from there and it comes rolled up too. I, I rambled a lot but I hope that this clears things up and I'll even type this out so that I can set your expectations so that when you get a, an original or you want a canvas roll or you want uh, some type of print. Peace and love.